Hi, and welcome to Yoga. I'm Joanne. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. We're going to um, start in a comfortable seat. <clears throat> so I want you to elevate your hips if you need to, if you have any tension or if the knees are super high. And then you can kind of remove the flesh from underneath your sitting bones to ground there. <clears throat> And then from that base, we want to find some length of the spine. So a little bit of activity in the abdominal muscles just to kind of engage and the, the core muscles to lift us upright and drop the shoulders. And then we'll gently retract our chin so it's our head is aligned directly above our spine. Our head has a tendency to come forward, so retract just slightly. You might tag a little weight into the elbows to make sure the shoulders are relaxing down. And you can rest the hands, palms down or up. Or you could do one of each, whatever you like. And let's just take a couple moments here at the beginning of the practice. We'll close the eyes. You might part your lips to make sure your jaw is relaxing. Just notice how you feel right now. Checking in with yourself, both physically and mentally. And just see how you feel. And then we'll kind of do a little air and contrast at the end of practice. But for now, just notice without trying to change anything. You might use this time at the beginning of the practice to set an intention or a dedication if you'd like. Repeating it three times to yourself. And if you haven't already, we'll start to slow and deepen our breath. So inhaling completely through the nose. And exhaling completely through the nose. And be sure to begin the breath in the belly, in the abdomen, so we're really expanding the belly on the inhale. And softening on the exhale and gently squeeze the navel toward the spine at the very bottom of your exhale. So squeeze gently, create a little bit of awareness in the abdomen. And notice the quality of your breath if it's Flavored or shallow, see if you can expand it, soften it, any rough edges to it. Nice and smooth and a little bit longer than normal. Take a nice deep breath in together. Expand all the way on your inhale. Expand as much as you can. And on your exhale, drop your chin to your chest. 
relax any tension from the neck and shoulders. And then slowly find a gentle arc side to side, inhaling and exhaling. Being sure to fully breathe in and out, maintain that full yogic breath. Dropping the chin back down, make sure you look through side to side. Let's take our head upright. Nice and tall. You're going to bring the hands by the side. We're going to squeeze the shoulders up by the ears, a little tension, and pull them down the back. So big circle. Squeeze, create tension. Exhale, come back. And squeeze it up. And back. Good. Settle the shoulders. You can relax the hands on the thighs. And then we're just going to rotate. So we're going to look over one shoulder. So chin's parallel to the floor. Just look over one shoulder. Coming through center. Look through the other side. And just notice if one side is a little more limited. So keep breathing as you go side to side. Be very gentle with yourself. If anything is uncomfortable or painful, don't do it. You never want to work in pain. So one more time, side to side. Coming back to center, settle the shoulders here one more time. And we're just going to go flexion side to side. So the ear comes over the shoulder, head comes upright, and then to the other side. Side to side, and again, notice maybe one side's a little more tight. Keep the breath moving. Good, and then putting the head upright, we're going to come to that first side again. So, ear over shoulder, you're going to take the opposite arm out to the side, and that same arm where the head is flexed toward, you're going to reach it up and just rest it on the head. So you're not pulling, just a gentle stretch. So a little weight on the head with the hands, but you're not, again, pulling arm is outstretched. And then I want you to sort of close your eyes and intuit, I want you to feel into the stretch where you might need it. So you might want to bring your head forward or back. If you're tight in the front of the neck and the back of the neck. So just kind of play around with the angle. And then when you find that sweet spot that feels really nice, take a couple breaths there. Again, just allowing the weight of the hand to stretch you gently. We're not pulling on the neck at all, or on the head at all. Good. Good, and then slowly release the hand up top Lower the arm down, drop the chin, inhale, take it upright, just sit up tall, see how that feels. And then we'll tilt the head to the other side. We'll try to even it out. So again, opposite arm stretches out, reach. Same arm where the head is flexed toward, we'll reach up. And again, just land gently on the head. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall, engaging the core a bit, and then Close your eyes, shift around till you find your sweet spot. See if you can relax this other shoulder as well while your hand is lifted. Strain and then take a couple breaths wherever you land. Good, and then nice and slowly release the hand from the head. 
drop the chin to the chest and then lift upright, come back to center. And just take the hands to the legs one more time and just sit up tall, taking a breath and observing how you feel through the neck and shoulder area. Good, let's find a little movement. Let's inhale, reach the arms up, stretch up tall. And exhale, pull the arms behind you a little bit, open the chest. Without arching the back, inhale, reach back again, lift up. Deep breath in, exhale, pull it back, open your chest. Good, and one more time, lift, reach back. Good, and exhale, pull behind you to open again. Excellent. Now we're gonna take one hand by the side, lift the other arm up, reach, walk it out, fold, Good, and then lift through the fold through this side as well. So we want to kind of lift through both sides, creating length. And then we're going to do a little flow forward. So you're going to spill the arm, leave the elbow, come forward and stretch out as far as you can in front of you. Sweep the arm out and then inhale to the other side. And then again, feel that lift through both sides. Breath in, use your exhale to spill yourself forward. Inhale, reach. Good. Let yourself go at your pace with your breath, inhaling as you lift up and over. And exhale as you spill forward. See if you can feel this all the way down the side, into the shoulder, into the arms, into the ribs. So really reach out and then lift up. Do one more side to side. From this side, we'll inhale, lift it up, lower the arms, shrug your shoulders, and open the chest. Excellent. So let's come into a tabletop position on all fours. <clears throat> I'm going to use my blanket for my knees, a little cushion, which I encourage you to use if you're on a hard surface. We're going to press the mat away from us. And we want to align our shoulders, um, our hands under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. So let's tap the feet out a little bit. Just wake them up. I'm going to tuck the toes and push back for a second, stretching through the bottoms of the feet. Good. Come up, release the feet again, tap them out. Good. Press away from the floor. And then we're going to do a little thread the needle. So we're going to inhale as you. Reach one arm, sweep it open, all the way to the sky. Thinking about the torso here as well. Exhale, come down, thread the needle, all the way down to the head. So you could stay here and be static if you want to release the shoulder blade here, or you might want to move with the breath. So it's up to you, your practice. Do whatever feels best. Exhaling as you come down, inhale as you open if you're moving. Of course, if you're static, you're still breathing nice and deep, releasing any shoulder blade issues. We're moving, we're getting a little more into the torso here, the ribs again. Take one more on this side. <clears throat> Unwind yourself and we'll take the other side. So set yourself up, start on all fours, nice and aligned. And then we'll inhale, reach. And exhale, thread the needle. Good. And come in deep. If you have one shoulder blade that's more tight, you might want to stay grounded on that side. Really encourage you to listen to your body and what it needs. We're going to do one more breath over here. Awesome. Come back to all fours. And you're ready. Excellent. So let's, um, from here, we're going to tuck the toes of one leg out. You can start on either side. Make sure the other three points on the mat are nice and aligned. And I forgot to mention, if you need to do fists, that's always
always an option if you have any wrist problems. So whatever works. And then activate that top foot again. So it's not just hanging out, but it's kind of pressing into the floor. And then just gently rock forward and back, stretching your calf a little bit. Good, and then come to your alignment. And then we're gonna lift that leg up. So the toes stay pointed down. I want you to engage your core and make sure your hip isn't opening out. So you're nice, imagine standing on the wall behind you. Engage your core, opposite arm's gonna stretch out. So now you're really activated in the abdomen. As you reach long, catch your breath, bring it, bring a nice deep breath in through the nose. And then we're gonna exhale and bring the elbow and knee together, round your back, squeeze in. Inhale, stretch out long. And exhale, squeeze. Focusing on the core, inhale, reach. And alignment, exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale, reach. And let's release all the way back down to all fours. Good, if you need a break any time, shake out the wrist, you're welcome. Take one, we'll take the other leg out now. Stretching through the calf and just gently kind of rock a little forward and back a few times. Keep breathing. Good. Back to all four. I guess this is all fours, all threes. So three points on the floor. We're gonna lift that extended leg straight back and keep the toes down, engage your core. When you're ready, add the arm. We're gonna keep that shoulder plugged in so it's not stretched out of the socket, but keep it plugged in. Take a breath in. When you're ready, exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch out long. You want to activate that top of the back foot. I'm telling myself that because I felt like I wasn't. Squeeze in. And I felt a little wobbly. Inhale, reach. Gaze your core. Exhale, squeeze it in. One more time and reach. Good. Release back down. Nice work. Let's bring the toes together. Take your knees out a little bit wide. We're going to push back for a moment on the hip. Can relax the elbows. You're just going to lift the arms and turn your wrists in some circles. Reverse. And then we'll come back to all fours. <clears throat> Good. Make sure you're nice and aligned here. And I don't think I mentioned inside of the elbow should come forward. So we're opening the inside of the elbow to the front to bring the shoulder blades in the back and then micro bend the elbow joint so it's not locked. And tuck your toes under here. Keep your gaze nice and long so the neck is supporting the head, breathe in. As you're ready, you're just gonna hover the knees up the mat an inch. Activating through the core again, building a little bit of heat, breathe. If you can stick with me one or two more breaths. Take one more. Good, and release the knees. Tap out the feet. Tuck your toes. Breathe in, we're gonna come all the way up this time. So you're gonna lift the knees and send your hips high, press back, downward dog, pedal your feet, walk your dog out. Good. And then once you've kind of pedaled your feet, start to open up in the hamstrings a little bit, let's take a nice easy stroll to the front part of the mat, coming into standing forward fold, about two fists between the feet, bend the knees as much as you need so the hands touch down, forehead tucks. Good. And then shift the weight around on the feet just a little bit. And then play with that and then feel that all four corners of the feet are even. You're gonna relax the arms in front of you. Let your head relax, your arms relax, shake out if you want. Nice deep breath in and out. And then find your footing and slowly tuck your tailbone, roll yourself up nice and slowly. Just 
stand at the top of the mat. Let's shrug the shoulders at the top to open our chest. Good, coming into a mountain pose, nice and even and tall. So we wanna lift through the core a bit, tuck our tailbone just a tiny bit. We wanna keep our pelvis nice and neutral. Retract that chin, finding a nice sturdy mountain pose. Good, and then open the hands to face the front. And again, we're gonna inhale as we take the arms behind us without our chicken spine and lift up. Good, exhale, we're gonna swan dive. So soften the knees as you hinge at the hips and fold. Bend your knees as much as you need so the hands touch the floor and the forehead tuck. Inhale into a flat back position, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold again. We're gonna roll it up, inhale. Unfurl yourself one vertebra at a time to the top of the mat back to your mountain pose, good. We're gonna do that twice more, reach back, inhale, lift. Maybe your hands touch, exhale, swan dive. Start to get into our hamstrings a bit. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. And exhale, bow again. Good, relax the upper body as you roll yourself up slowly. Chin tucks. Back to mountain pose. Feel that nice, even weight, nice firm stance. Reach back, inhale, lift. Deep breath, exhale, swan dive. Soften your knees. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Good, plant your hands next to your feet and you're gonna take a giant step back with your right leg. You might start on the other side, doesn't really matter. Drop your back knee and uncurl the toes. We're gonna stretch this hip flexor. So we wanna scissor our legs toward the midline to lift up for crescent lunge. Make sure the front knee is above the heel. And then keep your tailbone tucked here. Stretching this back hip flexor at the arms. If you're comfortable with that, drop the shoulders, extend your fingers. So we're actively drawing the feet toward each other, tucking your tailbone so you're feeling that deep stretch here. Good, you're gonna breathe in, nice deep breath in. And then we're just gonna take a nice easy twist. So front arm, right arm comes forward, left arm back if you're on the same side as me. Pardon my back. Reaching out long, notice I'm nice and tall here. Firm, nice and feet nice and firm. Inhale, lift up. Back to center, exhale, fold the hands by the front foot and walk it back half monkey. Draw the toes toward the face, reach the heart forward. Stretching that front hamstring out. Soften into your breath here, into the leg. Take one more breath. You might use props here if you need. Walk it forward. Good, framing the foot with the hands, tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee, lift your hips up high, step back downward dog. Good. From your downward dog, I want you to think about using the muscles that are sort of hugging your skeleton as you transition between movements. So we're gonna inhale, hug the muscles, shoulders align over wrists. We're dropping our hips in line with our shoulders. Engage your core, breathe in. As you're ready, exhale, drop your knees and you're gonna plant your chest between your hands. Think about the core as you lower, nice and active. Slide your legs behind you, tops of the feet to the floor. Reach your heart forward for cobra, look long in front of you. Good, release the chin and chest. Tuck your toes. You can come through tabletop or straight back to downward dog. And then as you bend your knees and look forward, you have lots of options for getting back to the front of the mat. <clears throat> you could walk or you could step or you could hop. So as you move, I again want you to think about the core, bending the knee. I'm gonna step up, so I'm gonna engage my core 
and try to be really light on my feet as I bring my foot through. And then step the other foot through. You're always welcome to walk up, fold here. And we'll roll it up, inhale. And back to mountain pose. And the hands forward, reach back, inhale, lift. Good, and swan dive, soften your knees, fold over. Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Hands plant, we'll take the left leg back this time. Giant step back, drop your knee and curl your toes. Again, scissoring the feet, so pulling them toward each other at the midline. Make sure this is nice and aligned in the front knee, nice right angle. Tuck your tailbone a little bit, lift the arms when you're ready, breathe in. Good, let's take a nice deep breath in here. And slowly on your exhale, twist and open, front arm forward, left arm forward, right arm back. If you're on the same side as me, you might be on the other side. Nice and tall, open the chest. Feet nice and grounded. Inhale, reach up, back through center. Exhale, float the hands down to frame the foot and then we'll walk it back as you lift the toes toward your face. Open your chest. Pull your sitting bone back as your heart stretches forward and breathe. Good, and slowly we'll walk the hands back as we plant the foot. We're gonna tuck the back toes under, lift the knee. Lift your hips, step back again to downward dog. Think about hugging the muscles again around the bone as you transition into a plank position. Shifting forward. Good, engage your core, drop your knees, your chest and your chin. Slide into that cobra posture. Shoulders back, heart forward, neck long. Be glued. Take one more breath here. Beautiful. Release down, tuck your toes, come through tabletop, or straight back to downward dog. Good, so same way you came through forward the last time, you'll do this side, except if you started on the right foot, you'll start with the left. So bend the knees, look forward. I'm gonna step my left foot through nice and lightly, engage the core, exhale, step it back up, forward fold. Good, roll it up, inhale. Nice and slow, shrug your shoulders at the top and open the chest. Nice, okay, great, let's do another round here. We'll add some standing poses, inhale, lift. Feeling a nice stretch as you come into this position, Just ground your shoulders and reach up to the waist. Good, exhale, soften the knees, fold, forward bend. Inhale as you open into flat back. And exhale as you fold forward. Great, take a giant step back with the right leg. And then this time with the front knee bent, you're gonna step that back foot up a bit. I'm gonna move my blanket. And plant that foot on a bit of an angle. You're gonna come up here for warrior one stance. So I want you to angle this foot. Aim your hips toward the front of the mat. Tuck your tailbone as you sink in that front leg, round the outer edge of your back foot, adding the arms for warrior one. Soften your shoulders. You might take your arms wider if you're super tight. Connect to your breath here. Think about really keeping that pelvis as neutral as you can in this posture. Great, you're gonna Straighten the um, front leg as you open the arms out to the side. So nice and extended here. You're gonna bump your hips to the back of the mat and reach that front hand forward for triangle. So as you move here again, think about muscles hugging bone. So you're nice and sturdy and moving with integrity. Hand comes to the front leg when you're ready, top arm up, open the chest. 
Option is to take the top arm out of the equation, hand behind the back. Wherever you are, is fine. Just keep opening through the torso here, firm in both feet. So lots going on here for the core. And I want you to think about stacking your shoulders and staying in a nice flat plane here. Good, you can turn the gaze to the floor, to the side or the sky. Just don't drop the head. Lots of breath here, one more breath. Good, we're gonna take this top arm all the way behind us. Let's lift back up, come back upright with the torso. Good, and then turn again with the hips to the front and reach, bend that front knee and reach into warrior one again. Checking your pelvis, check your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Good. And let's float the hands down, frame that foot. Slide your back foot, lift up and step it back to your downward dog. Excellent. We're going to flow again. So activate your muscles as you reach, flow into a plank pose. Good. Drop your knees, engage your core, chest down. Slide into a cobra, open the heart. Feet are glued. You might play with lifting the hands to make sure you're using your back here. It's an option. Good. Release down. We're going to tuck the toes, and this time we're going to push back into child's pose to stretch our feet a little bit. Push back. Inhale to all fours, and then come up downward dog. Again, make your way to the front of the mat mindfully, however you like. You can step or walk or hop, using <clears throat> being light as you land, however you get there. Light on the feet. Lay it on the joints. We're not slamming our feet. Hold here. Slowly roll it up. Unfurl all the way to the top. Open the chest. Back to your mountain pose. Good. Reach back. Inhale. Lift. And slowly swan dive all the way down. Inhale. We come into flat back. And exhale, we bow. Great. Hands plant. Left leg comes back this time. You're doing the same side. Again, we're going to step that foot up. Plant it on an angle. Check heel to arch or heel to heel. It can even be a little wider with train tracks if you want. For more stability, coming up to your warrior one stance. So the knee is still on top of the heel. Turn your hips out of the arms when you're ready. Connect to your breath. Tuck your tailbone a little bit here. Feel the outer edge of your back foot active on the mat. <clears throat> Beautiful. Take one more breath here. Good. And then as you exhale, straighten the leg and open the arms out to the side. Nice and long. Good. You're going to bump your hips to the back of the mat and reach, reach, reach. Again, use the muscle integrity to slowly transition into your triangle pose. Turn around for you guys. So again, we're not leaning here on this leg. We're lifting. You can always take the top arm out, activating the core and turning to the side. Open the chest. Shoulders nice and broad. One more breath here. Beautiful. Use that top arm. Lift up or use your torso to lift yourself back upright. Good. We're going to turn again to the front of the mat. <clears throat> Angle that foot forward if you need to. Sink in the leg and add the arms. Warrior one. Good. Make sure that pelvis is neutral. Excellent. Slowly lower the hands down to frame the foot. Slide your back foot. 
Lift it up, step it back. Downward dog. Good, one more flow here. Let's bring it into plank nice and mindfully. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Slide into your cobra. Reach the heart forward. You might play with lifting the hands again. Strengthening through the back muscle. Good, release down, hands next to chest, tuck your toes. And one more time, we're gonna push back, child's pose, stretch the feet. Good, inhale, make your way to downward dog. Good, let's slowly bend the knees. Again, you'll come up the same way you did on the first side. Nice and mindfully moving. <clears throat> Meeting in forward bend. Good, let's roll it up, inhale. All the way to the top. Open the chest. Good, mountain pose. <laughs> Good, I'm gonna come to the center of my mat and take a nice wide stance. So we're gonna do a little goddess action for the quads and the core. So you're gonna aim the toes out to the corners of your mat. I want you to be in a comfortable stance. And I want you to think about keeping that pelvis as neutral as possible. So as you're ready, you're gonna sink into the legs. I want you to avoid letting the knees collapse in. We wanna keep them opening out. So sinking only to a comfortable level, open those knees. So try to stay nice and tall in the spine. Good, and when you're feeling Comfortable there with your stance at the arms, cactus arms. Good. I want you to think about engaging through the core as you're working your quads. Good, breathe in, nice deep breath in. When you're ready, exhale, take one forearm to the thigh, reach the opposite arm over the ear, and use your core to lift back through center. I want you to avoid using momentum. Exhale to the other side, reach. Feel that nice stretch through the side body. Inhale, lift. Good, exhale, reach to the first side again. Slight little change here. Use the top arm to lift up to the sky and all the way up, big rainbow. Good, come back to cactus arms. Set, take it to the other side, reach. And again, take that long arm and lift to the sky. All the way up, good, and back to center. Let's do one more reach. If you need a break anytime, of course, take one lift. Use your core. Breathe in, exhale, reach. Good, and lift through the side body. Beautiful, back to center. Good, lower the arms, and we'll straighten the legs. Nice work. Take the feet, heel toe back to center. Coming to the center of your mat. Good, let's do our balance pose. So I want you to um, think also here about the starting in mountain pose, feet hip width apart. You can stand next to a wall if you need extra support. And we're gonna do the tree today. So we're gonna shift the weight to our standing leg. Make sure your, your leg is soft not locked. Fix your gaze anywhere that's not gonna move. Nice and tall. Good, and engage through the core here too. So we're gonna take, when you feel steady, fix your gaze, keep the breath moving. When you feel steady, take the foot to the ankle with the toe down, the calf or the thigh, just don't use your knee. And then I want you to feel the foot and the leg press to the midline again. So a little dynamic energy toward the center. Hands come to the heart. And then whenever you're steady, stretch your arms up, soften your shoulders, continue to breathe, relax. If you fall out, don't worry about it. Just try again. Think about the core here too. So we're nice and lifted and grounding at the same time. Oops. Good. 
Good, and then slowly take your hands together down to the chest, release the leg. Good, shake it out. We'll try the other side. So we'll shift the weight, fix the gaze, make sure you're not locking the knee. Nice and soft. And then whenever you feel steady, bringing the foot to the ankle with the toe down, the calf or the thigh, not the knee. Pressing back to the center, bring your hand to your heart. And then when you feel steady, send your arms up, soften the shoulders, connect to your breath. No, every day is different with balance, so don't be hard on yourself. It's a tough day. It's all good. Hands to heart. We'll slowly release out and shake it out. Excellent. Good. Let's come out uh, now to the front of the mat. I'm going to take my feet off to the edge. I'm going to come down through a squat. So I'm going to try to keep my torso tall as I reach my hands out and slowly lower down. Dropping my hips, and then I'm going to take my hands inside of my leg or inside of my thighs, my arms. Thumbs come to sternum, and I'm going to open my chest. So you might need a block under your hips here or um, a blanket under your heels. And this might not work for you, and that's totally fine. You can just skip it. It's just a nice way to transition to the floor. Good, and then slowly take your hands behind you to lower your hips down. <laughs> Good, and then stretch your legs out. We're gonna lift the flesh from our sitting bones and shake it out a little bit. Let's come all the way down <clears throat> to the back and I want you to glue your feet to the floor and um, think about your core as you unfurl all the way down. So engage the core here. So the slower you go, the harder it is. Try to keep the feet on the floor. Good, and then come all the way to the back. So you're gonna bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. I'm gonna have us do a little core warm up and then we'll do some more core work. So have your feet hip width, hip width apart feet on the floor. You might use a block here between your knees if you have one, um, just to keep that integrity toward the midline. You can imagine that. And then note where your hip points are in front of you. Make sure your neck is neutral on the floor as well, so your chin shouldn't be lifted like this. You want to place a prop under your head if you need one. Then I'm going to have us tuck our tailbone so that the hip points come this direction. They come toward you. So you're tucking your tailbone, engaging the core here. And you're not moving very far. You're just kind of rocking your tail off the floor. And then release to the sacrum. And then rock forward. So your uh, hip points face forward. So just a little activation here. Tuck. And release and then arch and release. Okay, let's do that one more time. Tuck, squeeze, so I want you to feel that activate and release and then arch gently and release. Good, so we're gonna tuck, engage the core here and then bring your hands, actually bring your hands behind your head. Do a few, um, Core activation exercise. So arms, elbows wide, hands behind, clasp behind the head for support. And then you're going to take one leg up parallel to the floor. So your knee is kind of aligned over your hip. 
your foot is stretched out from there. And then you're gonna tuck, do that little activation again. So tuck the tailbone, activate the core, lift the heart to the sky, and then just gently bring the elbow and knee toward each other. Come back, they don't have to touch, and release. So again, tuck, lift, elbow to knee, come back, and release. Good, tuck, lift, so keep going. I'm gonna do a few on this side. Lift straight up, elbow to knee, twist, back to center, and lower. Good, one more, lift, Twist, come back to center, and lower. Good, drop that foot to the floor, and just relax. See how that feels? Good, tuck again. So you're almost pressing your low back down. You're gonna take the other leg up, knee over hip, foot out, lift, chest straight up, elbow to knee, twist. Back to center, and lower the head and chest. Or shoulders. Good. Tuck, lift, elbow to knee, and back, and lower. Good. Lift, and twist, and back, and lower. So make sure you're giving yourself that pause in the middle. One more time. Twist, and center, and lower. Good. Release that foot to the floor. Just relax the belly. Take a nice breath. Good, and then we're gonna try a little more challenge. So we're gonna bring both feet up, hips again, knees over hips. Tuck your tailbone, engage your core, lift. And then we're just gonna kind of elbow to knee on either side. So you're gonna extend the opposite leg, come back to center, and elbow to knee, twist. Extend the opposite leg. Center, good, twist. And center, and twist. We don't want to pull on the head or the neck. We're trying to keep our elbows wide. If you need a break anytime, feel free to take one. Twist. But I encourage you to challenge yourself too. Stronger than you think. And center. Let's do just a couple more. And again, we're trying not to use too much momentum here, but we're engaging our muscles slowly as we move. Good, one more time. Twist, center, and twist, and center. Good, release the feet, release the head, and uh, un unclasp your hand from your head, and walk your feet in a little bit. Take your hands down next to your hips. Make sure your neck is neutral. Good, take a deep belly breath here. Well, stretch the abs out a little bit. So walk your hands down. Neck is neutral. Feet are close and parallel. You're going to activate the hands and feet. Slowly peel the back up all the way. Keep the neck straight. Looking straight up. And lift the hips. When you get to the top, take a deep belly breath. Good, slowly lower down. Try not to turn your head and look while you're doing that. So you might need to watch and then do it. You don't want to lift up with our head turned. Good, let's do that again one more time. So come to center. Neck is neutral. Hands and feet even on the mat. Slowly lift the hips, peel up. You might rock the shoulders under a little bit to find a little more lift. That's optional. Take a deep breath here. Good, exhale, slowly lower down. Excellent. Good, and then draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Gently rock side to side. Good, and then go ahead and lower the feet to the floor. We haven't gotten into our hips too much, so we're gonna do a little hip stretch here on the back. We'll take figure four. So you're gonna cross one ankle on top of the other, and then reach the same arm as the top leg through the hole, connect behind the thigh. 
flex that top foot. Draw that whole thing towards your chest. And then you might shimmy a little bit, push and pull on the legs. So you can use your elbow to press that thigh away if you need a deeper stretch. And breathe into your hip. Maybe pull the legs in and pull them out. Just changing that angle slightly. Notice I'm keeping my tailbone down. So it's almost like a swish side to side, think of aiming toward each corner of the mat. I should swish your tailbone gently, just to change that stretch in the hip a little bit. Good. One more breath. Good, squeeze in and slowly release, unwind your leg. Shimmy around a little on the sacrum just to get it even. And you'll switch sides. So cross the other leg on top. Same arm goes through the hole. Connect behind your thigh. You might use a strap here if you need. That's fine. Flex that top foot. Pull that unit towards you. Maybe the elbow presses the thigh away. Maybe push and pull. Sway the hips a little side to side. Keep the breath nice and deep. Great. And then slowly release. Unwind legs. Take your arms out to a T on the floor, palms down. Just gently windshield wiper your legs side to side. A couple of times. Good. Draw the knees back to center. <coughs> Excuse me. Place your feet on the floor. And then we're going to use our core here to do a little twist. So we're going to bring the knees into the chest. Squeeze the knees in. And again, feel that tilt of the tailbone just a little bit to activate the abdominal muscles. So you're pulling your hip points toward you a little bit. So maybe your tailbone lifts a little off the floor, engaging your core. Keep the neck nice and straight, nice and neutral, looking up at the sky. Breathe in. And then slowly use your core, all your muscles in the whole core, to gently lower both knees toward one armpit. So with that gentle tuck, so you're really using your obliques here, your lower abdominals. Good. Keeping the shoulders nice and soft and relaxed, head neutral. You might turn your head to the opposite side as you twist, or you might keep it straight. Good, and then from here, I want you to squeeze the knees in. Again, use your core, lift the knees back to center. Lots of work here. Bring the knees up, settle at the center, squeeze in again, and gently lower slowly to the other armpit. So really using the strength of your whole torso. Good, and then maybe you gaze to the opposite arm. Once you get to your position, you can relax a bit and breathe. Awesome. Good, and then we're going to squeeze those knees and bring the head to neutral. Squeeze in and lift back to center. Excellent. Good, lower the feet to the floor. Stretch one leg out and draw the other knee into your chest. So I've got my right knee in first. Squeeze that knee in. Just make a few circles with your big toe in both directions. Squeeze in. Deep breath in and out. And then we'll switch sides. So let that leg go out, bring the other knee in. Squeeze it in. Circles with the big toe in both directions. Deep breath here with the knee squeezed in. Good. And then draw both knees back into the chest. 
We're going to reach down for our ankles or our thighs. Coming into happy baby, you might reach the big toes with your peace finger. Pull the legs wide apart. Draw the tops of the thighs to the floor as you press the feet up. And again, you might shimmy just side to side. Feeling a little resistance in your stretch here. So I'm pulling and pressing up at the same time. So do that for a moment and then take a breath in and relax that resistance. Just soften. You might get a little deeper in your stretch. Take one more breath like that. Resist. Resist, resist. And then exhale, release. And soften. Great. Slowly lower the feet back to the floor. And then you might take your feet a hip mat width apart and let the knees come to center. Keep the knees bent. Feet on the floor if you have any tension in your back at all. And if your back feels good, you can stretch legs all the way out. Feet wide apart. You could use your blanket or roll under your knees. Give a nice Way to relax at the end of practice. Um, whenever you need to be comfy, you have a blanket on top of you, hold. <clears throat> Good, and then just kind of shimmy around on the floor, let everything go, relax, let the feet flop out, let the arms float up, face up, tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart. Let the palms curl toward the hand as the fingers relax. You might gently rock your head side to side. Make sure your neck is neutral. And bring your head back to center in stillness. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, open your mouth and side out. You might stick your tongue out for a little lion's breath. Ah. And let it out. Soften the eyelids and the eyebrows. Part your lips to relax your jaw. As you just gently bring awareness back to your breath. Allowing the breath to move freely through the body. We're not forcing, just relaxing. Good. And you might scan your body for any areas of tension that might be residual after our practice. <laughs> and if you find any tension, just surround it with the breath. And release it with the exhale. Let it go. Relax. Relax. Just gently and slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. You might rock your head side to side again. And as you're ready, slowly make your way over to the right side of your body into a fetal position. 
And just take a pause here to notice any changes between now and the beginning of practice or if you set an intention or dedication for your practice. Slowly as you're ready, use your left hand to push yourself back to a comfortable seat. And then meet in You can get a prop if you need it, sitting up nice and tall. And let's inhale as we sweep the arms up together. Take a deep breath in. Nice, tall stretch. Feel your hands at the top and lower them down to your heart. And bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing with me today. Thank you for being here. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.